Okay, lesson seven on the trebuchet project. This should be the final one. We're going to add dimensions to our drawing. So you're going to open up the file that we created last time if you don't have it open still. Uh, just to review, within this file, this is a different type of file, SolidWorks file. This is, so far we've made three different uh, SolidWorks files. We have a part, an assembly, and now we have the drawing sheet. And the drawing sheet allows you to have actually multiple sheets within one file. Uh, the first page is pretty much done. It shows our assembly with all of the parts identified. The second sheet gives the location of that cross member so we can build that part. Um, and the third sheet, we've pull, we pulled in a number of parts. And the scale on these parts are one-to-one, -one, meaning this is actual size that you're going to make them when you're working with Mr. Goss in the wood shop. Uh, on sheet four, we had to fit them to the sheet, uh, so we had to scale them down. So these are actually half size. We don't want to make these parts this size. But we can still add dimensions to them, and they'll be real dimensions. So let's jump on to sheet three. Uh, dimensioning in SolidWorks is pretty easy. Uh, if we go to Annotation and go to Smart Dimension, we can select the Auto Dimension option and select our view and then just hit Yes. We're going to do the same thing. I'm going to select this view. I'm going to go to Smart Dimension, Auto Dimension, and hit Yes. Oops, I had the wrong view selected. It's okay. I, I need dimensions on that one anyway. Um, so we're going to go back to Smart Dimension, Auto Dimension, I'm going to select this view, and we have our dimensions. Now, it doesn't always put the dimensions where you want them, and in this case, this is two different views of the same object. This is what would be described as the front view. This is the right side view. So we don't need that dimension. I'm going to select it and hit Delete, and we don't want a dimension inside there. So we're going to neaten this up a little bit. Um, actually, this dimension should be between the views, so we can put it there. Um, let me. Okay. So those dimensions look pretty good. Uh, this dimension down here, this dimension really looks kind of funny over here. So I'm going to pull this dimension over to this side. And I'm going to pull this dimension over to this side as well. I'm going to pull this guy up out of here so it's a little neater. Um, these dimensions could come up a little bit. And I just need to give another dimension to this. So I can go to Smart Dimension. I can do it on my own if I want just by clicking on a line. Or I can use the Auto Dimension command. In some cases it's, it's just as easy to, to select the parts. Let's um, select this guy. Oops. I'm going to go to Smart Dimension, select this. Auto Dimension, select this guy. See how it does. Um, hmm. This is really all we need here don't need that dimension. We could keep that dimension. I'm going to go back to dimensions here. I'm going to do these on my own. Um, select this. This. Select these two lines and it will give us an angle. need to give the height of this. Okay. That's done. This one. These angles are all 45 or 135. We need to give the height of this. Oh, 
all of these are half by half. Did I pull this part in twice? I think I did. Pull that. We don't need that. Okay, we can move this down and give us give ourselves a little bit more room. There we go. Bring this guy up. In order to do that, you need to select whichever the primary view is or the original view. Okay, uh, dimensioning these these parts are good to go. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we've got three on the other sheet. That's correct. Um, we're going to need to give the length of these, so we can put a dimension here. Oops. Go back to smart dimension. Overall length on this. Overall length on this. Um, we need to give these should be given as a diameter over here. Notice that SolidWorks automatically puts the diameter symbol in so that we know that those are cylinders. All right, I'm going to hit save because we're mostly done. This sheet is good. We're going to jump on to sheet four, throw some dimensions on these. Try to place your dimensions in the same location that I am. Okay. Notice where I'm clicking, I uh, click the edge of that line, uh, and then the center of these circles, we need to give locations for these. We also need to give the diameters of these. I'm going to break the rules a little bit and dimension both of these. We're going to add a dimension to the um, center. Oops. doesn't want to let me do that. All right, I'm going to skip that. Uh, we should be able to, those are going to be centered, obviously, within that location. I don't know why it's not allowing me to put that dimension in. All right. Maybe if I put a center line in or a center mark. Nope, we're going to leave it alone. All right. We're going to call this done for now. There's a couple other items I'm going to add where we're going to add in some titles to these things. Um, but I'm out of time for tonight.